got a Daybright Red Wine of uh, medium minus concentration, fairly pale uh, ruby core. Fades out to a uh, paler reddish, almost uh, kind of brickish garnet rim of uh, medium variation. The uh, intensity on the site is a call uh, medium plus. Uh, there's no signs of sediment or, or gas in the wine. Um, there's a little, little coloration in the tears here. The viscosity seems to be medium plus, maybe even high. Nose the wine's clean, um, free of flaws. It smells like it's developing. This wine smells like it has some age on it. Um, I get um, notes of uh, kind of more red fruited, uh, raspberry, cherry, strawberry, red, red plum, uh, red fruits mostly. Uh, they seem to be a combination of kind of ripe and somewhat dried. A slight bit of like fig and other dried fruits as well. A bit of like cocoa powder, mocha, like damp turned earth, aromatic mushroom, a little bloody. It's like a baked clay and like an irony kind of ferrous note to the wine. Uh, it smells like flowers as well, like rose petals, but not fresh. They're more like, um, again, kind of dried out, maybe a little potpourri, something like that. You get like tobacco leaf as well. Really complex wine on the nose. Uh, not noticing much in the way of, um, of new oak on the wine. It does uh, smell like there's been some barrel time here, but it seems really resolved. Um, potentially maybe a small amount of new oak here, but the age has kind of helped it blend together nicely. So intensity on the nose is medium plus. Palette also has a medium plus intensity. Wine's dry. Alcohol in the wine is, seems to be fairly high. Confirming like a medium plus, maybe full bodied wine. Similar fruit profile on the palate as well. Uh, it's more like red fruits, a uh, mix of dried and ripe. Cherry, raspberry, strawberry, definitely more of that uh, red fruit. Um, slightly desiccated, um, not, uh, not fresh, but certainly ripe and dried up. Um, similar notes of uh, that kind of turned earth, wet, damp earth, baked clay and ferrous, iron, bloody kind of uh, profile on the palate as well. Uh, those kind of dried flowers, little tobacco, um, mushroom. Acidity on the wine seems to be about medium plus. There's some tartness there. Almost has like kind of a salty, briny presence on the palate as well. Slight olive tone to it. Tannins are soft and resolved. They're very fine grained. Call it medium tannin. Has a long length, high complexity to the wine. Um, again, uh, as far as oak presence, I'm not getting any uh, heavy signs of new wood on the palate, but there does seem to be some oak presence here, so a small proportion of, of some new wood. I think we're dealing with an old world wine here. Um, from a, uh, a warmer climate, uh, I think it's got some age on it. I would give this at least between five and ten years old, maybe, maybe even a little bit older than that. Um, from a uh, from a warm climate, there's some some warming alcohol here. Um, possible grape varieties could include uh, things like um, uh, Tempranillo comes to mind from Spain. Uh, we could be dealing with uh, Sangiovese from Tuscany. Um, the chocolate and some of those kind of mocha things make me think of like Corvina um, and things from like uh, uh, Valpolicella, like Amarone, something like that. Um, acidity seems to be a little bit too high for me for something like Chateauneuf de Pop or Grenache. Um, so that's, that's not it and I'm not getting any notes of pyrazine or green elements that would lead me to Bordeaux varieties. Um, no Rotundon to, to take me to, uh, to Syrah. I think my final conclusion is going to be, um, I think this is Tempranillo, Tempranillo-based blend from Spain, uh, from Rioja. Um, I think it's Gran Reserva in quality. I think it's very good. Um, we'll call it 2005 vintage. All right, let's find out what it is.
Oh, look at that. All right, not too bad. 2009 uh, Rioja, La Rioja Alta, Gran Reserva, um, Cube 904. So a beautiful, elegant, uh, very traditional style of uh, Gran Reserva Rioja. Um, just the kind that I like to drink personally. So thank you very much. Cheers.